started recording. So like I said, Google can do math. This is why math teachers should love Google. So you go to the Google search bar, and you do 8 plus 4. Hit OK. Comes back with an answer. Right? That's pretty simple. 100 miles in km. Whoops, that one didn't work because I had the 8 plus 4 at the beginning there. 100 miles in kilometers, 160.9. Uh, 8 to the power of 3, 512. 8 to the power of 3 to the power of 2, a lot. So you can, Google can do math. So here you type in Google Calculator. And it can show you, right here, all of the different things. Whoops, where would it go there? Here's calculator. All the different things that Google can do. It can do um, currency exchanges. It can do square roots, um, conversions, half a cup and teaspoons, 24 US teaspoons. Teaching your kids to use a tool like this is as valuable as understanding how to use a calculator. Now, I'm not undermining the calculator in any way, but where's the first place that kids go when they're trying to learn something on the internet? They go to Google. They're going there anyway, so why not teach them a sweet little feature that's going to make their life a little bit easier? Okay.